Hey guys, today I want to show you guys how to fetch data from a Google Sheet spreadsheet into your sketch, right? So these data uh, from this simple table that I created are being used inside these little cards that I created in Sketch, right? So we'll build this. This is super simple and super quick. I'm going to start a new file and we'll go over one by one. So first I'm going to create this super simple card make the background white maybe the border is lighter and oh, some drop shadow and inside here I'm gonna create a text that says country you know, left align top align make this black right oh wait it's not turning but let me try again I'll make this black and also I'm gonna make this 24 a little bigger bring it down here all right Let's duplicate this guy. I'm going to call this capital. And this guy will probably be like 16. And I will unbold it. It's good. All right. And now I'm going to copy this, bring it over to the center, make it uh, right aligned, center aligned. And I'll make this maybe purple. And finally, the size will be like, I don't know, 18 ish. All right, so this is my little card here, right? And maybe I'll add some radius to the corner. Okay, so this is my card. And basically what I want to do is I want to pull the data from Google Sheet. So let's say if it's USA, Washington, D.C., and English. That's what I want those data to come into these, right? Um, so before we do that, we need to make sure um, this Google Sheet is linked with our sketch file. So how do we go about doing that? Um, so first, first, you need to install the Google Sheet plugin. Uh, the link is in the description. Please download that and install it. And once you install it, you will see Google Sheet Content Sync under plugins, right? Um, once you have that, you go back to your spreadsheet, hit file, hit publish to the web and you'll get this well actually I already published it so it looks like this I'm gonna stop publish ones and show you what it looks like okay so you'll get this publish button so keep that as web just publish it hit OK and once it's published close it and copy from directly from the browser Azure bar okay this is important and I come back to the sketch file and then open plugin open link Google Sheet, paste it in, hit import, it says content successfully imported. Great. All right. So how do we go about fetching those data into this? So um, if you look at the, the layer names, you know, basically what you want to do is you want to match these layer name of each of these elements to the column names of where you want to fetch data. So in this case, it's country, capital, and language. So we want to make sure these layers have the right naming, country. So this should be capital, and uh, this should be language. All right, language. So this should say language, just to make it clear. And in addition to that, you want to put a hashtag in front of each of these layers, okay? It doesn't have to be in the actual uh, text to display here, but for the, lay the layer names, we definitely want to put the hashtags. And once we do that, right? Once we do that, or actually, the rectangle doesn't matter, right? Um, once I do that, I'm gonna hit Control with the little up arrow looking icon button, Control and hit I. And boom, look at that. See, everything is in the right place. Now, this looks a little off. I'm going to center it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how it gets fetched. Um, so, how about we make this into a component this time, okay? I'm going to make this into a component. And now we have a component. And let's duplicate this. And how do we go about fetching the next data? So let's say France, Paris, French, right? We want that to come into our uh, this instance below. So 
we don't have to do anything with the inside already, actually. We select this and all we have to do is change the symbol name to item. So all we want, all we want to do is change the um, name of this symbol to item and dot in the number of the item. Which So this is the second item, so I'm going to hit 2 and hit control I. And boom, look at that. Same thing, I'm going to do all of them, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, great. And so, um, so this is the very top one, actually. This is the top one, the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth one, fifth one, and last one. So I'm gonna individually change this to item dot one, item dot two, item dot three. And actually, if I go to symbol and if I just change this to item, go back, everything will be item. I just need to change the number to four, five, six. Great. And let's take a look. Control I. Wow, look at that. Everything is there. Pretty cool, huh? So that's basically how you fetch the spreadsheet or the Google Sheet and data into your sketch. Now, let me show you a quick bonus um, feature. So let's get rid of all this and just come back to this. And instead of calling item one, let's call this X or it can be N two, whichever that works. Let's just do X and then control I. So what's happening here? Now everything is fetched, but they're pretty random, huh? China, Paris, and Spanish. What's happening is if you use X or N instead of a number, what happens is that they fetch, they fetch random data from the column. So basically imagine you're randomly picking one value from this column, France, and from capital, like, I don't know, Tokyo, and then language French or Chinese or something like that. So it's randomly fetching a data. So if I just don't touch anything and if I do control I again, see how it keeps changing, right? It's completely randomized. So yeah, that's another quick um, tip. But basically, if I go back and change this to one, then there you go. It goes back to the first item in the table. So hopefully that's helpful and hopefully, um, you know, with this you guys can create a better prototype in, um, in you know, wireframes. So thanks for watching and if you like it, please like it and subscribe and we'll be posting more videos. Thank you.